on my father's side, who was a product of a white farmer and a black a, a black wife, or whether she was wife or not, I don't know, raised by the white white farmer as if he were their own son, which is quite remarkable at the he would be re remarkable today, but at the time he was raised, it was most remarkable. I don't know how far back the Irvis name goes. No one ever explained it. But on my mother's side, we could trace, or my sister, may her soul rest in peace, traced us back to the Dutch settlers, and I'm sure you've, you've heard of this, who settled New Amsterdam, which now became, became New York when the British kicked them out, in the early 1600s. And we have an ancestor, at least my sister tells me we had an ancestor, that we could trace from that, that person all the way up to a great aunt who lived in Kingston, New York. And I'm told, spoke English but would not talk to you in English. You had to speak in Dutch, or translate it to Dutch, so it says she understood English all along. So we can go back a long distance as far as my mother is concerned. Uh, as far as my father is concerned, we're stopped pretty much at the, his grandfather and grandmother. So the, at, <clears throat> as, as far as you know, the family originated, well, as far, ba as far back as, as you can tell, from upstate New York and that area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Considering New York City is upstate New York, we didn't... Those of us who really upstate didn't so consider, but it's all right. What, what kind of man was your father? That's a cruel question. Very, very bright. Very bright. Very isolated. The colored people with whom we associated, particularly the men, could not equal him in any way and when it came to thinking. Uh, they'd be talking about the numbers game, but he wanted to talk about Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. He kept three volumes of Shakespeare. That's the reason upstairs, if you were to go there, you're not going to be limit, allowed to go, but go there in my study. My father was a very brilliant man, but a very unhappy one. He had no equal anywhere. We had no family. In other words, he could not go back and say I had a brother or a sister. He had not that at all. Uh, my mother had uh, sisters who lived either within 50 miles of us in Sorgalese or who lived uh, in Albany, New York, sometimes next door to us. So she had family she could resort to. He didn't have that. He had to withdraw within himself. He was a good father from the point of view of giving us what we needed, more than what we needed. But he never gave us any warmth. He never punished them, except, I wish he'd hit me sometimes, because I was a rascal. He looked at me when he came home. He said, I understand that you were in some trouble in school. I was always in trouble in school. He said, you have shamed me. He'd never hit me. Never spanked me, but that was enough. I used to talk to my sister. I said, he would wish he'd spank me instead of <laughs> saying what he does say to me. And she said, yeah, he does that to me too. I said, well, why don't you tell him? She said, no, I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> and I wasn't about to. So he, he was a very stern man. No, 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 no. He was a withdrawn man. He didn't treat us sternly. Our mother was stern with us. Now, that, 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 there was a stern member of the family right there. Don't deviate from what the path says, which means don't deviate from the path I created. But my father, no. Well, I think it's very difficult for, for a lot of young people, black or white, it doesn't matter, to imagine a world uh, where decades ago a, a black man could be raised and educated to love Shakespeare. Uh, how did how did that come about? He never explained it. My father never explained anything that I can recall. Uh, he would simply tell you, "I think you ought to do that." 
he would never say, this is the reason why I think you ought to do it. And that puzzled me many times. I was looking for him to give me a reason why I should do that which I planned to do anyway. My mother was saying, no, you don't do that. Because if you do that, you're going to hurt yourself. For example, I was going to build a glider when I was about 12 years old, big enough to carry me. I'm going to glide from the roof of the garage that we had and glide about, oh, 100 yards or so. Now, my father, if he had seen it, would have simply have said, I wouldn't try that. My mother said, I'm going to take it apart. <laughs> that was the difference between them. I don't mean to say that our father was cold to us. He wasn't that. He was withdrawn. And despite this uh, education and the love of, of learning that he had, I understand that he could not find work that was commensurate no, he couldn't. with that. No, he couldn't. All the work he could do would be to cut the grass for the white man. Sometimes my he and my mother would wash the walls of some woman's, some white woman's kitchen. He would paint wherever he could. But no, he, he, he could not find and did not find, although I do know he looked to find, any reasonable employment that would have mirrored his intellectual capacity at all. Was he embittered by that? Did he talk about No. No. I couldn't answer your first question, but it was embittered, I don't know. But did he talk about it? No. Not to me, not to anyone else, I think. Not, I don't think to, my, to our, my mother, even. I don't think so. So he held that anguish. If he had anguish, he held it within. I think he had anguish. I don't think he had anguish against the people who have raised him, who treated him as if he were their own child. Sent him at, this was at the time in the 1890s, where he went three years of high school, where very few white kids ever got that far, but here he was. He became ill and took, sent him up to the Adirondacks to recover, so he never got the, 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 third, the third year, that mean the fourth year. He was not a bitter man. He was simply withdrawn. It was as if he had decided nothing in this life will I ever have that I wanted, except the children and my wife and some substitutes I like. 